Hey guys, today I'm gonna teach you how to create a spiral line text effect like this in Inkscape. So let's get started. First, open your Inkscape, go to File and go to Document Properties and just change your units to pixel. Okay, so I will just change my width to 1920 and my height to 1080. Okay, and it will be done. So then I will just pick my circle tool and create a circle, hold control and shift and just drag it diagonally, okay? Drag it and you can see I created a circle. So what I'm gonna do now is just select it and now just click this option, okay? You will just remove the fill in from the circle. I am gonna change the color. I'm gonna go with this one I guess just hold shift and click this color okay it will put a stroke on it so after putting the stroke I will open this text and fill menu okay this color and fill menu and I will change my measurements to pixel and the pixel stroke width I'm going to go with will be 3 pixel okay 3 pixel works I will just duplicate it by pressing Ctrl D and just again hold Ctrl and Shift and just drag it between. Okay, just drag it between. I will just drag it more. I guess this works. And I will change this color to just press Shift again and I will change this it to this. Now I will select these two selecting these two you can just keep in mind that these two are centered at center okay you can click on the line menu and you can try to center it vertically and horizontally it will be at center cause we have used control and shape it will just make it smaller at the current axis okay so it will have been at center but you can again try it if it is not at center by using your align menu so i will just select these two again by just creating a selection area above it and go to part and go to object to part i will convert these two to part you can see below you can see two objects are selected you can see you can just go to part and go to object to part and it will convert these two to part now what i'm gonna do i'm going to select these two again and go to extension and go to generate from path and go to interpolate so i will keep my exponent to zero the expolation method will be one the generate your live preview i guess this works fine you can increase your steps if you want you can go to 40 and to change update your live preview you can just select any other part click uh, move your cursor to any other option it will update it i guess this works i will click up, apply and i will click close now you will see when i remove it you can see those two generating option will be present there okay and keep in mind that i when i selected this go to generate from part interpolate both two options should be selected it will inter interpolate things between those two objects that i have selected and use the interpolate style okay then only these colors variation will come so now after doing this i guess i can you can make it bigger if you want by drag by holding ctrl and shift and dragging it dragging it further okay yes this works now pick up your text tool and I will type 404 okay 404 and open my text menu By opening my text menu I will the font I'm going to use will be Montezera and the weight I'm going to go with ultra bold can work if you ultra bold click apply just select the font select control and shift and drag it diagonally you can see it works 
just now select this text effects select the background go to part or go to object go to clip and go to set you can see we are done with the effect now just i will go again click on the text tool again select the text i am going to type a is not found okay h not found dot go to make it blue the font i am again going to go with monserrat and wait i am going to go with i make bold works click apply i guess the size is okay you can make it bigger if you want now i'm going to go with pick up my rectangle tool and just create a rectangle here yeah. and you can just enter it 404 by just going to my uh, align menu again opening align menu and selecting the text and you can change your relative to page to center it on the page and just select click on this mid middle axis okay you can similarly center the page not found and i will just drag it above using my mouse or using my keyboard up arrow okay i will make it go above i will also center this also and just drag it above a little bit so lower box i guess the center it as you can see there is stroke present on it to remove the stroke i will just select this and go to just this stroke and right click and answer stroke i guess this work i can just now select this page not found just duplicate it just drag it down i can change its color i will go with white and i will change it to go back okay go back i will make it capital and i will try to increase its font weight okay make it bolder i will select these two both again first select this font then press shift and select the background and change this relativity to last selected and just center it again and click to center now i'm just centering the text according to my rectangle here that i have used as, as a background okay i guess this looks fine so i will again select my rectangle tool and just create a rectangle here if you can see its color is different i will make it i will change its color blue and to select it again to select this rectangle make it cling to the background uh, to the document border i will just select this option okay snap to paste border and just snap it to the paste border i will try to make it lower i guess this works so that's all guys you can create a spiral text effect like this with lines in inkscape so let's get start so i guess we are done here bye guys like comment subscribe see you again guys